Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I have this <coughs> Dell Latitude E4-4310. Uh, you can see uh, right there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can really see it, but right there, that's the model of this computer. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do multiple things on this computer. And the things are how to replace the hard drive. RAM, airport card or Wi-Fi card, and the DVD drive. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do multiple uh, repairs or like simple repairs on this laptop. So it's a fake SD card. But yeah, so getting straight to it. First of all, remove the battery. This battery doesn't work, but still to demonstrate, it is best to... Remove the battery. There we go. And now we can just unscrew the RAM door. And this is also holding the screw. Uh, and underneath here is the PRAM battery, I think. Yeah. I might do a video on that at some point. Uh, we have the RAM, the DVD drive, uh, screw holding it in. So first of all, you want to remove your RAM. I think this is 4 gigs. Yeah, 4 gigs, 2 gigs on each stick. So, there. So now that that's done, um, you can unscrew the DVD drive. There we go. Pretty easy to remove. And if you're replacing the PRAM battery, let me just include this in the video. You just unplug it. It's simple. You can probably pull on the wire because, well, it doesn't work anyways if you're replacing it. So, gonna plug that back in for now. There we go. And now what you want to do is unscrew the Wi-Fi card and un start unplugging all of the connectors. There we go. Now you can just unscrew the one screw holding it in. All right. There's that screw, and you can remove it. There we go. And now that that's done, we can focus on the hard drive now. And usually there'd be a screw holding it in, but I don't have that. I found this at, at a dumpster. But you would want to unscrew that screw, and there's this thing that you can get your fingernails in between and pull out. And there you go. And now you just want to transfer this front bracket. Just kind of unscrew that. Take that off. And, you know, put it on your new hard drive. Just like that. Just a screw. There we go. And once you're done with that, you can just pop it back in. There we go. And screw that one screw in. It's not there. So now you can put um, your new Wi-Fi card or airport card in, whatever you want to call it. Just put the Wi-Fi card in and screw it down. And make sure you plug in the connectors in the right order. So, the black one goes here, I believe. The gray one goes here, I think. So now that your airport card is connected, you can just put the bracket back on, bracket back on, or 
I think it's called a cover. Um, there's a spider. Yes, there's a spider. But forget the spider. What? Now you can put your DVD drive back in. And make sure this little metal piece is on this side, not like this. So you put it, slide it in. And you might have trouble putting it in. Uh, don't worry about that. You'll get it at some point. There we go. Just have to push on it a bit, but overall it's fine. Can now screw it in. Sc screwing the screw right there. Now, if you need your new RAM, you can just put the RAM in. Goes in like that, and it's done. Now you can put this cover on. It slides in like this with these two hook thingies. You just slide it in like that, and screw it in. There we go. And now that that's done, you can just put your battery back in and test it out. Well, my my battery doesn't work, so I can't test it anyways. So, anyways, pretty short video. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about uh, that. If uh, you want some longer ones, running out of video ideas. So, yeah. So. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and check out my Twitter at youfelix5. I don't know why the 5 is there, okay? Don't ask why in the comments. There's just a 5 at the end. So, yeah. That being said, always uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!